Oh goodness sake, I think I made it worse guys. <laughs> I was trying to fix the uh, the hurt animation and now I think I, I don't know what I did but I made it so that he's he's feeling pain all the time. I'm sorry Blue. Alright, I'm got i gonna have to get working on that and try to fix this part again. What's up YouTube? And today we're back with another video on Jurassic World the game made with Unity. Today we're gonna work on the Hunter animation and Blue's animation. We're also gonna add some sound effects to Blue and we're also gonna add some sound effects to the gun firing sound. What I mean by sound effects for Blue as in we're talking about footsteps, we're talking about the attack animation sounds, we're gonna talk about the hurt animation sounds and his die animations. And for the gun it's just the rifle's shooting sound and the reload sound. And uh, don't look at that dinosaur, he was already like that when I got here. So I didn't do anything yet, I, I swear. Alright, let me uh, let me fix that really quickly though. Come back to life. And there he is! He's back to life! <laughs> Alright, let's get on it. Hey guys, Castlace here with Castlace Tech, helping to teach you how to build your game bigger better, and of course, more fun. And here on this channel, I make easy to follow tutorial videos on how to create animations, add special effects, or add features like buttons, levels, bosses, enemies, and you name it to your Unity game, just like this video. I also make videos of me playing my Unity game where I add funny or crazy features like me fighting 100 Marios with just one character, just for your entertainment. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's get started. Alright, so after replacing all the sprites for my previous character and now switching it to this uh, Dino Hunter, or well, let's just call him Dinosaur Hunter, we'll call him Little Timmy or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Timmy, I, I like that. So Little Timmy here, now I can have my running animation, I got my jumping animation. Well, the jumping animation looks a little bit funny because, um, yeah, I think I put on like 2x speed or something, but hey, I think I like it better like that. It looks like he, uh, he's double kicking in the air, you know? You see that in a lot of movies anyway. So now I have my running, I got my crouch, crouching. So if I hold C, I'm crouching. If I let go, I'm standing up, hold C. And I have my shoot animation. So there you go, shoot while, uh, while crouching and shoot while standing. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I still have the old sound effect. It's so you hear like a sword sound effect. That's just the from the old, uh, the old character, but I'll, I'll be replacing that with like a, probably a gunshot uh, sound effect. So I also have my, I also have my uh, uh, take damage animation here. And if I die, let's just wait for it. And oh, there you go. Yeah, I think uh, the hunter is pretty much done. I want to start adding dinosaurs into this, and maybe switch out some sound effects. So yeah, let's go. One eternity later. Woo! Check it out! I finally added Blue to the game, guys. Check it out. Look, I added, I made him walk now. So, before it was kind of hard because um, I had to kind of redesign the uh, the enemy. And I was like, man, this is going to take too long to test him. Because I had to literally start the game and then test the script. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to write a custom script. So I wrote, I wrote a custom script right here just to test his movements. Like, enemy movements. Uh, this stuff I had to just I copied and pasted, it, but I wrote it just to test his movements, just to test the animation, see if it looks good. Check it out! Wow, he's beautiful, beautiful. I mean, before, I mean, if I didn't buy these, uh, you know, blue sprites or di uh, raptor sprites from the from that person, I would have been using my own drawing, and you saw my drawing. It was absolutely terrible. Like, <laughs> it's just not gonna it's not gonna look good when I would try to animate that guy. But look, I might have to fix his uh, movement speed a little bit, but hey, it's working. Now I'm just going to add the uh, the attack animation, and the die animation, and the hurt animation. But, but other than that, I got the idle animation here, and I can flip him now, and I got the walk animation. But it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Like, uh, he's going a little bit pretty fast, but his or his feet is moving really fast, but he's only moving like inches. So maybe I might have to adjust his uh, movement speed. To make him uh, make him a little bit faster to just to match the animation or slow down the uh, the running animation or else like what kind of rapper is this you know rapper is always fast and and if he's moving at this speed I could I could pretty much pick him off with my hunter you know 
when I try to hunt dinos. So, yeah, that's uh, let's uh, let's start working on that now. Two hours later. All right, finally added the attack animation, the hurt animation, and the death animation. So watch. Ooh, that's the the hurt animation right here. Hmm, something looks a little bit off about. Is he flinching? Is he having a seizure or something? Hmm, I think I gotta fix it. I think my guess is uh, it's activating the uh, the hurt animation two times in a row. So I might have to change a variable where it just he's only supposed to feel the hurt animation once. But anyways, I'll I'll get on fixing that. But wow. All right, now check out his attack animation. Oh, not that one. There we go. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, look at blue attacking. Now I can walk and attack. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna attack this cute little snowman right here. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna attack the hunter now too. Yeah, what are you gonna do, hunter? <laughs> wow. All right, let's check the death animation. Oh, look at that. Uh, ooh, I don't think that's supposed to work. Um, um, actually, I don't think it's supposed to be like this, guys. Uh, I think. Eh. I got to fix that as well. So I mean, you know, after when the I mean, after when Blue dies or something like that, he should he shouldn't be able to move like this, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. But since it's only a test script, I I'm gonna bet on that's not gonna actually uh, happen like this in the uh, real enemy script because I have already checked that one. But on this test script, um, uh, it, it's able to do this because I didn't put a uh, variable saying, hey, uh, just make him not being able to move. So I shouldn't be able to control him after uh, he dies like this. I mean, I wouldn't make any sense. Watch me bring him back to life right now. Ooh, look at that. Blue is back. <laughs> uh, all right, and I still need to fix the, uh, the uh, movement animation. Or maybe I should just keep it like this. And make it seem like he's able to run really fast, but his movement speed is like incredibly slow. So he's like walking, so he's like running really fast, but he's moving like an old man. <laughs> uh, if only if only it was like this in the uh, the, the Jurassic World movie, it wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be fun. I mean, Blue wouldn't be able to to fight anything like this. But now check it out. Woo. Well, I'm pretty happy that uh, I have Blue complete. I just gotta fix a few minor issues with like the death animation. Maybe the hurt animation, I just gotta make it so that you can't uh, activate the hurt animation twice, and I think that should be good. And then, uh, yeah, let's get working on that. Six months later. Oh goodness sake, I think I made it worse, guys. <laughs> I was trying to fix the uh, the hurt animation, and now I think, I, I don't know what I did, but I made it so that he's he's feeling pain all the time. I'm sorry, Blue. Alright, I'm got. i gonna have to get working on that and try to fix this part again. Much, much, much later. Okay, I finally fixed the, uh, the hurt animation, guys. I realized what was happening. Uh, I accidentally unchecked this uh, has exit time, so basically he was stuck in the animation and he never had any sort of trigger to make him exit that animation, so that's why he was having a seizure, but as you can see, now I fixed it. I mean, the hurt animation only activates once. Also, I want to note that this hurt animation it did not come with the the dinosaur package. The artist did not include it. Come on, really? If you're gonna have a dinosaur animation, at least add a hurt animation. So what I did was I improvised, and and knowing me, I'm a pretty good improviser. So what I did was, I'll, I since I already have the 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 dead animation here, I just took the first uh the let me see the these three frames right here, and I just put it into this folder and I just made it into the hurt animation since I technically don't have one and I think these three frames is good enough so just it just shows this one this one and that one and that's pretty much compo composed this uh her animation right here so you gotta just uh improvise you know anyways I think that looks good enough anyway right yeah you know the attack yep whoop mm-hmm and we got the dead animation yep everything looks good now to uh now let's go ahead and add some sound effects to him. One hour later. What's up guys, and we're back. And I finally added the sound effects for Blue. Check it out guys. Look, I added the walking sound. Listen. Yep. Look, you hear the footsteps. Now you have the attack. And you have the hurt. And you have the die. Oh. Whoop, let's get back to the, uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, what, what's going on? I can't get back up. There we go. I have to press the hurt animation. Uh, don't worry about the, uh, the animation transition. This is only for testing sound effects. So, 
but you would not believe how many footstep sounds I have to test. Here, let me show you. Look at how look at how many footstep sounds I have added. So I've added a uh, a script in it that randomizes the uh, different sound, foot sound effects. So there's like four, and it will just randomly select one of these each time he takes a step. So it would not sound the same. Before it sounded the same, and that did not sound correct you know it sounded like it sounded like someone was injured and he was walking really slowly but yeah after adding the, ra the script to randomize the footsteps uh it sounded much much better also when i tested the, s the foot sound effects they were way too loud like the audio listener is attached to this camera right so let's just assume that blue is walking right next to the camera you should be able to hear the footsteps assuming that this is where the the listener is or let's just say the listener is the hunter okay the audio attach is attached the audio listener is attached to the hunter so if i were to walk right next to him you should be able to hear the footsteps but if i were to walk very very far away you should not be able to hear the footsteps that much and it took a while to to kind of uh lower the volume or the decibels of each one of these footsteps to find the right one where if he walks just far enough like you shouldn't be able to hear it like if you listen But before it was way too loud. Let me show you. A few inches later. Okay, I just swamped out the sound. Now it's the louder footsteps. Now listen. You hear how loud that is? So if I walk next to next to the the audio, if I walk next to the hunter, it sounds really, really loud. And now if I walk really, really far, you can still hear it very clear. Look at this. I'm like way over here. I should not be able to hear the footsteps that well, but for, but it was just too loud. So it took a while. I had to keep lowering and lowering the volume until I found out which one was the best one. I mean, imagine if this is just one dinosaur. I plan to add this footstep on like multiple raptors. We're going to have like different dinosaurs as well. So if they all was this loud and they're just walking all over the place, you would not be able to hear the hunter at all, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> so thank goodness I lowered the volume, so it should be good. I'm going to switch it back to the old volume right now. A few moments later. All right, I just switched it back to the old walking volume, and it sounds just right, including the hurt animation. I said the hurt animation, pressing the button, was not working, there we go, there we go. Yep, sounds just right. <laughs> okay, now let's go over the hunter's rifle shooting sound and the reload. I also added that as well, so let's take a look. 8.01 p.m. Alright, so let's listen to his gun, whoops, what was that? <laughs> Don't look at that, don't look at that. That was uh, the old animation that I did not replace yet, but it's okay. So, let's listen to gun sound. Wow, look at that. That sounds amazing. Look, I even crouch and shoot too. Man, you would not believe how long it took just to select the right rifle sound. Like, I was listening to a lot of different kind of gun gun firing sound. I was like, oh, that one didn't sound right. This one didn't sound right. One of them sounded really good, but it had an echo. And I was like, man, I did not want to edit that one. So I was like, I just kept looking. I also wanted to find a, a rifle reload sound because I thought it would sound better if I also had a reload sound for the rifle too. It makes it more realistic, you know, like I'm actually using a real rifle hunting dinosaurs. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. It took a while. Now to either add the bullet and the firing effect, or maybe I just might add the other raptors and the other dinosaurs. Well, that's all I have for you for today. I hope you liked this video. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what do you want to see in the Jurassic World game or anything you enjoyed, you know, in the video. Tell me down below. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button for more videos like this. And check out my first introduction video to this uh, Jurassic World game series. You might like that too. Well, that's it. See you later.